something else I recommend that you do while you're waiting for it to dry is just go over it and pour some of your glue on or next to the stick. Let it soak in. It's not going to hurt anything, but it's going to um, ensure that your stick is well stuck. <laughs> Boy, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? So I would even go so far as to take an old paintbrush, one that's a bit past it anyway, um, like, hello, like this one, and I would, and you could wait for it to dry to do this. You know, I'm doing it while it's wet, but you could let that first layer of glue dry and then do this and just brush some glue around the base of your sticks so that you know they're stuck on there and also if you have any glue lumps or bubbles you can smooth them out Now when you're done with your brush um, and brushing on this glue, you want to soak it right away or just toss it, which is why you might want to use a brush that's past it or maybe you have a dedicated glue brush and if you do use that one. And do this to both pieces. And then before you do anything else, let the whole thing dry completely. You want to make sure your sticks are, you know, in the opposite place of each other um, to the other piece of cardboard or mat board or whatever you're using so that it's pushing the metal, you know, between the pieces to create the rippled texture that you want. All right, I'm going to do the other side and we're going to let it dry and I'll be back. Okay. Distracted by doing some impromptu cleaning and a phone call from the doctor's office. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not completely dry, but it's mostly dry. So the next thing I want to do is tape. And I'm going to put one half here. And if you've done your job correctly, <laughs> i.e. me, um, then they should line up pretty easily. So you want to really leave a little bit of a gap there, not too much. Oops. But these edges have to line up. I'm using duct tape, by the way. Okay. And cut or tear. This happens to be gold duct tape. The color doesn't matter. Oops. Okay. Um, once it's dry completely, we need to chop off the edges and see if I can do it without ruining everything that I've done. I'm going to just use some wire cutters. Yeah, oh, that went flying. Oops. Okay, so hint, put your hand, either pre-cut them so they're the right length or stick your hand over it as you're cutting them because they're going to go flying. Um, not only to prevent them from going flying, but to prevent them from going in your eyes. You want to trim them as flush as you can to the cardboard that you've used or chipboard that you've used. 
to be finding little sticks in my room for days, I can tell. <laughs> I don't know where that one went. All right, I'm going to get all the trimming done. I'll be back. Okay, when you're making your homemade embossing folder, you want to make sure when you close it, can you see that, that the sticks go um, on the other, this side, go in between the ones on that side. So you're sandwiching, when you put the metal or paper in there, you're sandwiching the paper so that it curls and does this little S shape in between all the sticks. That's the whole idea. Um, so you let it dry completely and then you're good to go. You can emboss paper, you can emboss thin aluminum like from soda cans. You just take a good sharp pair of scissors, cut the top off, cut the bottom off, cut it down the seat, down one of the sides and you have a sheet of plastic that you can, I mean a metal that you can emboss, thin metal you can emboss and then die cut and use in your artwork. So there you go. I hope you enjoy the idea. I hope it comes in handy for you and saves you a little money um, in creating some art tools that you can use in your in your room with what you have. Um, and you can expand on this and take it further and do other shapes and other designs. It would be a lot of fun to do. So that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to be part of one of my Facebook groups, um, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, or the one where we do the journaling for the year, My Year 2017, or you would like to sh um, support my channel by shopping in my Etsy shop, the link for all of those are in the description below, along with my address if you want to send happy mail, my email address if you want to send me an email, all of that's in the description below. But don't forget the most important thing, Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like maybe make yourself an embossing folder. In future videos, we will be, as soon as I get a can, I will show you exactly how I use this and how I do the die cutting with it. And uh, for now, though, that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.